In this tutorial we'll be creating this 3D glass text within After Effects. So I've already got my text and camera set up here. I'm gonna quickly show you how I created the text animation in the beginning. So I'll go into my text layer here and under animate I'll select rotation and go there again and select opacity. Now under animator 1 I'll select property and enable pair character 3D which allows us to rotate the text in 3D space. Now, as you can see, our anchor point is not centered, so we'll go into more options. And if I lower the alignment here to minus 40, you can see that our anchor points are centered to each character here. And now once I rotate our text, it basically rotates around it. So I'll set the X rotation here to 180 and the opacity to zero. Now I can go into my range selector and set the offset to minus 100. I will head over to the first frame, set a keyframe, and let's move over to two seconds and set this to 100. Now, once I play this back, it looks kind of weird. So let's go ahead and go into the advanced and set the shape from square to ramp up. I will also set the ease low to 50 and we've got our basic text animation like so. Now let's actually make this 3D and add the texturing. So I'll go into my composition here, right click it, composition settings, and under 3D renderer, I'm gonna make sure I'm set to advanced 3D and hit okay. I've got something called geometry options and it allows me to extrude the text in 3D space. So I'll set this to maybe 120. And as you can see, we've got some depth here and set the bevel style to convex and let's give it a bit of an edge. So maybe set this to six. Now I'll head over to the material options and just maximize everything to 100 here. So the speculars and the metallic, make sure it's set to 100. We don't care about the diffuse or ambient. So already I've got this reflective 3D text here, but it's still not very glassy. So in order to make this transparent, we're gonna select our text and right click it, animate text, front, color, and opacity. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing but I'll select back, color, and opacity. So with these two settings here, I basically set an opacity for our front and back of the 3D text. So it makes it transparent and sort of like a glass. So right now we're gonna need to add some reflections. And we do this by having an HDRI image, which looks like this. Now there's a great website called HDRI Heaven, which provides these assets for free. So check it out if you need any of these. And once I've got my image, I'll just drop it into my comp here and we can hide it. Now I will right click new light and we wanna make sure it's environment light. Set it to 100 is fine and hit okay. Now under our light options here, you can see we've got something called source and we can change this to the HDRI image that we've provided. And basically right now it is reflecting that image and gives us these cool reflections. Now, if I hit R, I can actually rotate the environment and choose where it reflects from. And what I like to do here is set two keyframes and let's go over to maybe five seconds and just give this slight movement. So set these both to five and that sort of gives us this continuous reflection here once the text is fully animated. I will also go into my camera and give it a bit of a position animation here. So just zoom in. in. So this is our animation so far. Now let me show you how we can add in some details. So something I like to do is actually select everything and control D to duplicate them. Now I'll pre-compose this and we'll call this glow. So I'll go into this new composition here. I will select my light T for opacity and we're gonna set it to something like 10 and it gives us this nice looking highlights here. So once I go into my main composition and let me isolate this, I can add a levels effect and I'll just further isolate these lights, maybe reveal a bit more here. And now if I add a deep glow to this or any kind of a glow here and lower this a bit, I will set the comp to add and let's reveal everything. And you can see we got these nice glowing edges around our text, which adds some details. Now, since we cannot add textures to our front layer, what we can do is let me enable the background, for example, and I'll create a new adjustment layer and I'll duplicate my original text layer and we'll call this blur. Now I'll drop the adjustment layer beneath our text here and make it a track mat to the blur layer. Now, for example, I can drop an effect called scatter. 
set this to maybe five and we're basically getting this nice glass texture behind our text and I will also enable randomize every frame so it moves and this gives us sort of this glassy look we can also just add a fast blur to blur things out behind the glass so this is how you can create this animated text i hope you found this tutorial useful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one